I'm not gonna stop reusing this stupid video. All right, here we go. Did it move? So we're not gonna be able to hear it because the sound quality on my phone sucks. But here we go. Delta Rune is Delta Rune. What can I say? Now, honestly, I think Chris, Susie, and Rose would be better fitted to be me costumes. But, hey, this is just, this is my 80th for Smash moveset. So you said they have to get in. I made a Fortnite one. If that if that move set actually gets any significance whatsoever, I am gonna be dead inside. So let's start off with the gimmicks. Gimmick one, they have TP. That's kind of a dead giveaway. They restore a little TP when they attack or guard and regain a lot. When they get a near miss. Which, pretty much, they almost get hit by an attack, but just barely dodge it. Now, we'll have to do a little workaround with the hitboxes if they do get into Smash. And make that mechanic, but, eh, who cares. Not like they're going to. So, we also have a second gimmick. It's just like Nana and Popo, or Olimar and the Pikmin, or Rosalina and Luma. Susie, Rose, and Chris all take damage independently. While Chris is the main character, Susie and Rose can get knocked out for taking enough damage. Chris is the one you control. Susie and Rose are like, they're pretty much bots that follow you. Chris has to get launched for you to lose a stock. Now, once they do take enough damage, Susie and Rose, They'll be knocked down in their dead state. And when they are in that state, they will not respawn for, um, let's say 20 seconds. And if they are down, you cannot use attacks that require them. If the attack is solely used by them, you cannot use the attack. If the attack just has them as a part of it, you will use the parts of the attack that don't have them. For example, the jab. A three hit jab, the first hit having Chris swing his sword, second having Susie slam her axe, and the third having Rousey stab with his scarf. If Susie is down, it will just do the first hit, then immediately the third hit. But, how they get knocked down is Rousey, if Rousey takes 70 damage, he is down, because he's the weakest one. He's the healer, he's not meant for combat. Susie has need to take 120 damage, these are relative to their health bars in the game. This is how much health they have. So now, uh, they have no wall jumps, no wall clings, and they can't crawl, but each of them have their own independent weight. Susie is heavy, Chris is medium, and Rousey is light. Now, 
Each will also have an independent guard, depending on which way you tilt the control stick when guarding. The control stick for tilt attacks, if you tilt it to the left or right when you use your guard, it will have Suzy or Rouse guard instead. This move set is based solely off of Delta Room. The main thing you have to do is protect your teammates. They are your greatest assets. Protecting them is of the utmost importance, especially Rousey. He is your healer. The whole point of the Jevil fight, well, not the whole point, but the main thing everyone wants to do is protect Rousey. If their healer is down, then that's just bad. So they function like a team. You have to protect your teammates. They have four jumps, with the first two having Chris having two jumps, as he is the actual fighter, while Susie and Rousey each have an independent jump, with Chris and the other following along. Now, whoever is using the jump, like if you're using the first two jumps, that's Chris, whoever's using the jump will be leading, will be ahead of the other two. Meaning they're open to get hit. So, yeah, be careful with that. Hey, and it's like six minutes into the video. I haven't even explained the first attack yet. Well, actually, I have explained the jab, but I haven't explained it fully. This attack does more damage the better it is timed. Like in the game. If the all three attacks are independent on timing, the better their time, the more damage they do. This moveset is literally just like the game. Next is the dash attack. Chris will just rush forward and swing his sword like a knife, even making the Undertale knife sound effect. This will never launch or deal any knockback whatsoever, but it will get critical hits more easily. For the forward tilt, it'll just be a forward sword swing. For the back tilt, Chris will rush behind Zuzi and Rousey and do a slightly smaller but more charged sword swing. For the upper, up tilt, Zuzi will do an overhead axe swing. And for the down tilt, Rousey will do a downward scarf stab. This can spike. For the neutral smash, Chris would stab his sword outward. This would have a bit of start lag, but it can sweet spot very easily. For the side smash, Susie would throw her axe at a diagonally forward angle, like she does in the battle against her and Lancer. She'll throw her axe at you. For the up smash, Chris's soul would appear, and he would quickly duck as a flurry of spades fly over his head. Of course, you know we gotta reference Lancer. The spades would do damage, of course. Because they're flying over Chris, they're the up smash. For the down smash, Chris would swing his sword across the ground in front of them, while Susie swings her axe across the ground behind them. Of course, like, if Susie is dead, then Chris will only swing his sword, Susie won't swing her axe, so it can only hit in front of you. But for attacks like the side smash where Susie throws her axe, if Susie is dead, then this attack just won't work whenever you try to use it. So, you got to rely on your teammates and protect them. They are Chris's greatest asset. And without them, his move is really bad. Now, one quick thing before we continue the moveset. A lot of you are probably wondering why I put Chris, Susie, and Rossi together. As it may seem kind of too OP, or why not put them as independent fighters? Because, one... I mean, they're a team. Why not put them together? And two, I mean, without each other, their movesets are kind of really limited. Because they don't all have the biggest movesets. Together, their moveset is just good enough. So that's why I put them together. Anyways, for the neutral air, Chris would do a twirl with his sword. This won't do Dutch the the this won't do much damage because he will hit them with the flat end of his sword. 
to knock opponents away from them. Sort of like a tennis racket. It won't do much damage, but it'll do good knockback. For the four day route, say would stab his scarf. I can't speak. Or else he would stab his scarf forward. This wouldn't do much damage, but it's quick and spammable. For the back aid, quick turns around and swings his sword from top to bottom. This will put him in free fall. For the up air, Chris would look downwards and stab his sword, pushing him backwards into the air. He has a smaller chance of spiking, but can still spike. His body flying into the air will also do much damage, as it is an up air. But the sword will do the most damage. For the down air, Susie would jump down and slam her axe into the ground. But you cannot use this again, as Susie will be on the ground. But this will not put you into free fall. You can still use other attacks. You just can't use it. Because it, you can't use that one until you jump in the air again. Because Susie will be on the ground. Next is the neutral special. Now the special attacks are where spells come in. For the neutral special, Chris would use his spell that he used in the Chaos King fight, Courage. It takes 25 TP and raises everyone's defense for 10 seconds, including Rousey and Susie. For the side special, it will be Rude Buster. No, all the rest of the specials can be charged. Rude Buster takes 50 TP. Now, if you use it but don't have enough TP, they'll just do the animation but it won't do it. So make sure you have the TP or you're just leaving yourself vulnerable. Now, Rude Buster will just do what it normally does but if you charge it it would be red buster with 60 tp again if susie is not alive you can't do rude buster red buster or not, you get the deal by now red buster shoots an even bigger wave with chris and susie it deals the damage up two people because chris and susie both work together to make it but it doesn't travel nearly as far has a very short range, so it's easy to dodge. For the up special, Chris will use period wet. Because there's a random effect to it, to whoever is hit by it, but it will it can also cause a random effect to Chris. So it could give your opponent that, but it could give you something worse. It's random. Next is hypnosis, which is 50 TP, which is the charged up special. It immediately puts the foe hit by it to sleep. But I'd say that's fair seeing as it takes 50 TP, that's half your TP bar. Heal pr Next is down special heal prayer. It takes 35 TP, heals Chris by 10% damage. When charged, it takes 50 TP and becomes dual heal. It will heal Chris 15% damage and remove 10% of damage taken from Susie and Rousey. And if Susie is dead, it will revive her. It won't do it for Rousey, because Rousey must be alive to use it. So, if Susie is down and you want to get Susie back, that's the best, that's the quickest thing you can do, but it takes 50 TP. So, next is the grab, which mainly focuses on Susie. Susie grabs the opponent by the neck. For the pummel, she bites the opponent's face off. I'm not going to try Susie's poor attempt at a laugh, which actually sounds like a cough. For a forward throw, Susie throws them slightly in the air, then sends them flying with her axe, using it like a golf club, as Susie likes playing with her opponents. For the back throw, Susie would just throw the opponent over her shoulder, as if she thinks the opponent isn't worthy of being hit by her. And Chris will follow up by striking them with his sword, knocking them backwards. Yeah, Susie just doesn't care. For the up throw, Chris and Susie will both use their weapons to slash the opponent upwards. And for the down throw, Rousey will pacify them. It works the same as Snake's down throw. For the final smash, Chris's soul will appear. It's a cinematic final smash. And Chris, Susie, and Rousey will all attack at once, causing a beam of darkness to blast the opponent. For the first taunt, Chris does his act pose. The second taunt, Susie does her act pose. And third taunt, Rousey does his act pose. Yeah. 
for the first victory animation, Chris holds out his sword as Susie laughs, as Susie is all about fighting. And for the second victory animation, Chris holds out his shield as Ralsei casts a spell, as Ralsei does not like fighting. And victory animation 3, you can only get this if Susie and Ralsei are both down when you win. Chris will hold a knife, then turn around and look at the camera with a glowing red eye. Entrancing the end of Delta Room. For his entrance animation, Chris's soul will flash as Chris, Susie, and Rossi all appear and ready their weapons. Pretty much the battle animation when you enter a map. For I'll do the ults last. For the boxing ring title, it will be the Delta Heroes. For the classic mode, it's called the Chaos Quest because I couldn't think of a better name, but it sort of fits. And as any classic quest, you start off fighting weak enemies. And then go to fight stronger enemies and then bosses. So the first round they'll fight Pichu, then put on a plant, then Diddy Kong, then King Diddy, then Bowser, then Sephiroth, and for the final boss they fight Redlos. As every good quest has a dragon in it. For the game icon, it's obviously the Delta Rune. I mean what did you expect besides that? Their stage would be the Field of Hopes and Dreams, and for the stage gimmick, Lancer could just appear in the background and shoot spades at people. Because why not? Alright, let's take a look at the alts before I end the video. And go eat a pizza or something. Alright, so these are the normal colors. This is the first ult. Now, this is an alternating costume. So, the first ult is Susie and Chris in their normal clothes, and Rousey without his hat. For the first ult for the armor, they'll have Chris will have the colors of Lancer, Susie will have the colors of the Chaos King, and Rousey will have the colors of Rue's card. For their first ult for their overworld clothes, Chris will have first colors, Susie will have hands, clothes, and I say will have papyrus clothes. Next, for their battle army, it will show them in black and white sprites. Next, for their overworld clothes, it will show their overworld clothes in the colors. It will show them in the color of their battle army. Because I ran out of ideas. Which is why the next two are completely original. It just makes all their armor more red. And this makes all their clothes more blue. Oh, let me. Uh, this on the way so you can see Ralphie. So, yeah, that's about it. I honestly. I I don't think Chris is gonna get into Smash. Because without Susie and Ralphie, his moveset is limited. Very limited. But with Susie and Ralphie. I mean, I just don't see it working. Three people in one moveset. I mean, Nana and Popo were an exception. Literally the whole game, you have to use both of them. I mean, you can win battles without with Suzy and Rousey dying. And there are parts in the game where you're not even battling with Suzy and Rousey. So, I mean, yeah. I just don't see it happening. Because it's not a, necess a necessity. But without them, I mean, it, it ain't going to happen. It might, but that's a very rare chance. Jevil, on the other hand, might make it in. I'll probably make a moveset on him sometime. Keyword sometime. I'm not saying when. Because it probably won't. Okay, bye.